and welcome everybody. I'm Christian from Berlin. Before we start, please check out my big and free, it's all free, easy blues piano courses. They're linked in the description box. There's even sheet music available for those who can read music. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, help my channel to grow. Now have fun. Let's learn this. Hello and welcome everybody to my help section. What do we have here? It's a 12 bar blues in C with a quick change. I'll tell you in a second what that is. Let's have a look first at the left hand. If you're new to my way of teaching, we play this left hand here and when we change, we anticipate the fifth of the next chord. We fall into the next chord. That makes tying easier if you speed up, which finally you would like to. Now, what is a quick change? It's if we have the first bars of C, we replace the second bar of C from the blues, um, uh, 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 blues form with an F. That's what we do here. We start anticipating the F and this D bar of C and back to C, anticipating the fifth again. Okay, so we cleared that up. Now, it's actually easy, but we will have a look at uh, a couple of the more complicated stuff that is coming a little bit later. Uh, slow replay after this help section helps you learn at half the speed. And look at everything um, in a slowly manner. Now, um, um, hold on. Now the first chorus is quite easy and we go right into the second chorus where we have an Albert element, element and this goes one and to two and three and four. And now this, these uh, two little sixteenths fellas, one and to two, you have to break, uh, practice that, they come together with the left hand sixteenths. One, that was BS. They don't, uh, they don't come together, come in the middle. Like one and to two and three and four. And again, we repeat that. And the unusual thing here is that we use the thummy twice. Very typical for this kind of stuff. And we have our beloved old school thirds. They come 
and they appear often in Old School Boogie, you see? So we have a little bit of that and the wonderful this little riff repeats. Nothing more to mention here than we, when we come to the F bit. We have the same rhythmic structure. And we remember on F, go to my easy blues piano lessons. These are all familiar elements here with the third. Yeah. One and two, two and three and four. Repeat. One and two, two and three and four. Anticipating the C back and you see? Always anticipate fifth note. Make this a habit. Make this a habit. It makes faster stuff a lot easier. And uh, all the big ones, when they play fast boogie woogie, they do it as well. That's how I got this trick. And then we have. Uh, and. Oh, there we have again. Uh, when we go to the G7, we have again our thirds here. This time the beloved third on the G7. Great standard old school element here. One, <laughs> I sound like a second hand car dealer. Huh? Like, ah, oh, we have this wonderful car, just one this wonderful color. All the Porsches have this color and it drives like a, like a butterfly. Butterflies don't drive. Okay, I'm a bad second hand car seller. Okay, so we have this. And. Here you have right hand on the way back, bam, ba, ba, triplets, and finger setting is important here. One and two and two, three and four. Otherwise, you will not arrive with a thumb on C where the water ho watering hole is for your thumb, the, also called the home button in my lessons. Now, the great thing is uh, when we arrive here. Yes, why is that great? Because of course you cannot tremolo uh, with the left hand run running if you are on a lower level. Like this would be, this would be really tough for you, I guess. Yeah, let me show off how long I can do this without getting a sinusitis. No, it's not a sinusitis, a cramp um, in the right hand. I could do this for years. Now, here we do not have the left hand. It's a break one and two and three and four. So you can, you can, uh, you know, shake a little bit here without the interference of the left hand. But the beginner's mistake here is, you guessed it already, he forgets to count. He plays, the beginner plays one and two. And here he starts to fall asleep or focuses so much on his tremolo that he forgets even the name of his own mother or father or his own name even. It happens, happened also. So you see, you count on here one and two and three and four. I think in the video I make even like this. This should remind you of that you count on one and two and three and four and and you stop in time that you are here for the uh, for the break. Okay, one. This is just easy, regular German blue scale, the so-called Berlin blue scale. So you got this huh, with this and uh, we move on. This is actually quite easy and effective. It sounds a little bit of like Oscar Peterson bra break, broken down for not babies. I would never call my, ba uh, my students babies, but for uh, aspiring, learning, eager piano students, like it sounds. And, bam, bam, bada, and so on you, that's really easy. So now we go to the, uh, after that break, uh, we go on to the F7 of the second chorus. And now that's also not so hard. Yeah. Also finger setting is here recommended. You start with the fifth. Also here, remember the over setting. If you remember it too late, then the flight has gone. Have you ever been too late to a flight? I have been regularly. One and two and three and four. Uh, yes, and that is actually quite. It, it actually sounds a little bit Oscar Peterson. This thing. One 
and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Practice it that slowly and then add the left hand. One, one and two and three and four and one. Same here. Two and three and four and one and two. Uh, well, sorry. One and two. Syncopation. And then we have something yummy for you. I made this especially for you. Because this is something also like we hear. This, or you can play this. This is actually a line that also the pros, the half gods like myself, play. And it is easy. That's why we put it in here. And it goes, uh, um, it's, it's up here. Have you ever been up here? Yeah. Take on the oxygen mask. Uh, you need it up here. And we go down. Now listen, it's a, what we call a chain. The chain of delight. We go here from the, uh, we are on G7 now and so you can play this, right? And if you remember my last lesson, finally it sounds like a pro. Go to my playlist or go to my, uh, my uh, videos. It's just a week ago or so where I um, um, uh, explained to you that some things, some things, as the Germans say, uh, can be played by easy level players, although they sound like a thousand dollars. And this is uh, because we have a very simple pattern and it's just repeated. We don't have to think. We don't like thinking while playing. I don't like thinking myself even during the day. So here, now we go three, five. You see? Bop, 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 bop. Then we have, hold on, here. Then we have a single note here. So it's not, it's a little bit, oh, oh, I'll do it again. Flat. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. The E flat sounds a bit strange here, but it's right. Okay, it's right. Yeah. So you see, that's we just you just need here, yeah, like a pedal, uh, like a you know a water pedal, like pop 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 pop. And you just have to play, be able to play this. And then you just move your hand. It comes back a little bit uh, later so. And then we have, um, now we are in this G7, going back, for second chorus. And, yeah, you can, you can. Everybody can, you don't have to, you can just play this, but I just wanted to make it a sound a bit more cute, yeah also strengthens uh, your fourth finger which has nothing to do in your uh, daily life except like maybe um a hey, forget that okay then we go to the uh, to the most interesting bit because we're changing the left hand we're changing the uh, where is it question you got lost where is it ah here it goes okay here we're changing uh, to a real boogie hand we give some steam now uh, to the German boogie and now what is this what I play here it's a simulated walking bass you you might uh, know the original like this is quite tough and because you have to uh, do many jumps and this is quite hard to play especially way back So you have to hit the right notes at tempo. Now here we do a little trick and it sounds only a little bit less good, almost as good. Simple trick, we, we just repeat the thummy on the, on the C. And I did it on gigs and nobody complained. Uh, where they just complain if I arrive, but then when I'm on the, at the piano, no one complains anymore. So we have the thumb here and it's just repeated. We just re you see, we play the the chord notes, and in between, just this the slap note. 
which would be the when the upright bass is, uh, bass is playing like doom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, they're slapping the note. Okay, this is what this is simulating. Piano is always simulating something. So we play this one and two and three and four and one and two. You see, it sounds great and it's wonderful to the hand here. You can relax totally. You can go on holiday while you play this. And then in F, it's the same. Here we go along the chord notes. Anticipating the C again. Good example. Here. If you want to go from this one straight to C. Yes. Yeah, this happened. But if we anticipate it, one and two and three and four. Anticipate the octave from C and one. C? I told you at the beginning you will need it, this anticipation of the next chord in the left hand. Um, and the right hand is also something easy um, and together it's playable for you. I know it. I taught it to many uh, students here. So, you know, this is really nice. And in the right hand, ah, ah, you know this from somewhere. Yeah, from somewhere. It was about two minutes ago. Wake up! Wake up! I'm teaching here. So we have... It's the same pattern. Oversetting is the only thing you have to remember. We are on C7 now. And... And... Can you imagine? We are already repeating. Here, from this one. So it's just twice, this, this, and then already we are repeating. You can go on forever, but we just do it for two octaves, okay? And all together you practice it like this. Yeah. Okay? Da, da. And then you will see, it's so nice in the hand, you cannot get lost. Can speed it up quite quite easily to medium speed medium at least okay and we go to and then the same on F not quite the same but uh, without the uh, lower note yes you see also this is even easier than the C bit Again, we had we just had this. You find this in many many boogie woogie tutorials. This pattern because it's famous and it's good to play. And on G, another classic. This is also stolen. We are um, in the business of stealing things. Also called being inspired by. Also called paying homage to. But the real word, 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 word would be called stealing. Yeah, there's an, a longer version. Here we do the short trip. Here. And F. Break again. And classic ending. Mm. Eh, sorry. And this is probably the lowest blow note you ever play in your life. I will make a tutorial in the near future probably where I want to play this one. Maybe this one. Did you realize there is a black key here that doesn't resound? Okay, enough stupidity from your German teacher. Now comes the slow replay. I wish you a lot of fun. Go subscribe to my channel. There is from beginner to super advanced to genius level. Everything is here. Everything is for free. Bye.